And WWE called me, um, like I already had a son and uh, I had an advertising company and I was just getting on with my life. And uh, you know, I never could talk about wrestling or my dad or anything else or I'd get so emotional. Um, and then whenever they called me and asked me to wrestle, I knew it was gonna be hard for me, but they brought me out to Raw, like just to show me it. And whenever I got out there and I smelt like the Bengay and like saw the guys taping up and the ring and the sweat, like it made me think of when I was a little girl. So it made me really, really want to do it. So I signed a contract that night to be in developmental in Tampa, Florida, which is also FCW. And uh, I started training there for about seven months till some like drama stuff happened. Like I totaled my car and I couldn't afford like having my son in daycare and juggling being a mom and a wrestler. So I moved out to California and started doing the indie scene. I love independent wrestling. I like that it's new people every time you go. Um, you know, with WWE and stuff, it's always the same people that you travel with. It's like a circus family, which is great. It's nice to have like a family like that, but a home away from home. But this is more fun because I can stay home more and I can choose whether I want to go out or not. And uh, you know, if anything comes up with my son or anything, I can stay home. Cause you know, like if with WWE, if anything happened, it doesn't matter. You have a contract and you have to be on the road. So this is much better. It's a lot easier for my lifestyle.